Today, I'm going to take a pineapple. We're going to cut the top off of it, cut the sides off of it, leave the core in, and smoke a chicken on it. I'm just going to cut this pineapple around the edge here. You don't want to go all the way into the center. I'm just going to estimate about where the core is. Then we're going to come down with four cuts to get these sides off and leave the core of this pineapple exposed. Here I've got a 5.7 pound chicken. That's right. I'm going to cook it just like you would a beer can chicken. For my binder, I'm using olive oil. Duck fat is my favorite. I don't have any today. Now I'm going to come back in with the top of that pineapple we had. That'll help hold that, give a little pineapple juice draining down over it. For my rub today, I'm using rub some chicken. Use whatever you want. Use your favorite rub. If you want to know more about this one, I'll put a link down below. Just going to season this beautiful chicken up, all sides. Then we'll move over to the grill. I've got some oak wood here. Just going to scatter that around. I don't want to cook this direct over the fire, right? Just like you're uh, baking it in an oven. If you're using a pellet grill, cook it in direct. Let's get our grill grate in. And get our bird on. We got pineapple. Now one thing I didn't think about is the lid's probably going to hit this top piece. I didn't think through that. Let me see if that's going to be a problem for us. I may have to make an adjustment. Nope, we're good to go. One quarter cup soy sauce. One third cup pineapple juice. One third cup brown sugar. Here we've got a tablespoon each. Ginger paste. Red garlic chili paste. Now, if you don't want chilies, then just put in a tablespoon of garlic paste. And then the last thing I'm going to put in here, and you've got to be careful, right? It's alcohol. That's probably a quarter to a third a cup of bourbon. That step is totally optional. But I have made many pineapple and soy sauces over the years. And I like to either put a little bourbon or a little rum. If you want even sweeter, then use rum. But again, totally optional. I'm just going to bring this up to a simmer. Let it thicken a bit. Let all these flavors marry together. It's been 46 minutes. Our chicken's up to 116. Now I'm going to take that glaze that we made, just drip the goodness all down over it. And uh, if you're interested, 45 minutes it's been cooking, 114 degrees. The grill temp's running right around. 370. Now every time I use this little device I get asked where I got it. I don't know. I've probably had it for 15 years. I don't remember where I got it. I have looked for them online because so many people have asked me where I got it and I cannot find them. So if anyone knows where you can get one of these little spoon glazy things, please leave me a comment so I can let folks know. Let's get a little bit right down in there. Oh, I can tell you, smelling great. Let's get our lid down. I don't think it'll be maybe, who knows, 20, 30 more minutes. It's been one hour, 20 minutes. Chicken is up to 161. See it's a little dark from that uh, teriyaki sauce. No issue there. Let's get it off here, let it cool down and do a taste test. Hey, this chicken's been resting here maybe five or six minutes. 
you, well, ideally you want to let it rest 15 minutes or more but it's getting dark and I think everybody wants to see what the chicken looks like so let's or taste like even there we go I'm gonna turn this around and show it to you I hope that shows up in the video you can just see the moisture in that chicken where it was touching that pineapple let's give her a little cut right here we'll lay her open like so but that chicken can you see the juice look I don't know how well it shows up but that chicken is so juicy just cut a little piece off there I didn't inject it I didn't brine I didn't brine it look at that oh there's her skin there's her chicken Definitely get that sweetness from the brown sugar, or the pineapple, all that goodness. And it makes for a fun presentation, especially if you're having some folks over. I don't know if I got lucky. Or I don't know if it's the pineapple. Absolutely juicy, flavorful chicken. I hope you give this recipe a try.